this is my solenoid engine. The solenoid came out of a cash register and switch is homemade. Don't know if you can see that. But as the piston gets up, it hits that which turns which pushes that brass piece which has a wire connected from well the orange wire is connected to that and it runs down to this terminal which you get power from put power add power to these two and they it runs but um the orange one goes to here and the yellow one goes to here which this brass piece is mounted on and then this is just a little piece of brass piece of brass with a screw in it it comes and touches that which pushes those together which turns it on and right as the piston gets there it turns on and then it shuts off when the piston's there so it's not a very big power strip book but it's made out of basically an erector set and a piece of wood and uh, some wires like the two terminals are only um, just long bolts from a rector set, and this so is all the bracketing. But here's 12 volt, 1 amp power supply. Put that. What else have I got? Hook. Screw one of them. <coughs> Hook it up and just tighten this down. Ow, I just jolted myself. How did I do that? Oh well. Okay. Put plug that in. No way it goes. Little bit of spark. Does it have much power? It does not have much power. Here's a CD for size. But it's about two and a half hours of work. I can spin it backwards to make it start too. That's pretty cool. Just like an old hit and miss, but I can also spin it just past the and it'll start. Well I think that's about it. <laughs>